Hello, in this video, we will customize our behavior of authorization middleware. We can use a customized middleware to return a customized response, enhance the default challenge or forbid responses. We can customize the HTTP response by implementing the I authorization middleware result handler interface. In our application, we are using custom response model. Why we are using custom response? To send meaningful response to send same response in success and failure case response will be consistent in our application every response will have response code response message and data set if application returns same response model on every request then it will be easy to handle in a client application in case of invalid token application return unauthorized response when user don't have permission on a resource but he try to access application return forbid response these two response model don't have response body but have only response code. These two response model will create inconsistency in our application response. In this video, I will customize the behavior of authorization middleware so it can return custom response model. One by one, we will see these two response. I am on a swagger. My API project is running. I will send get all user request without token and server will return 401 response and its response code is 401 it's mean unauthorized to get 403 error from server i will send request with the normal user and try to get admin resource first we will get token through login request here i will paste email and password and click on execute it will return token and user information and i will copy token and paste in authorization paste here click on authorize with this token i will try to access all user data and only admin can access this data so it will return 403 error here you can see one thing is common in these two response they didn't have a response body but have a response code first i will create a response model for error so we were using a one response model for error and success case first we will add namespace and namespace is model and here we will add class public class error response model in this we will add two property one response code and second response message and response code type is response code and its enum second property we will add message in this property we will return message and i will add a constructor so we can easily initialize this class so our error response model is ready so i will add a folder for service because we will create a service that will modify the behavior of response in a service folder we will add a c sharp class name of the class will be authorization middleware result handler so this class has a very long name and first we will add a namespace and namespace name is service and here we will add a class authorization middleware result handler this class will implement one interface which is i authorization middleware result handler and we have to give implementation of one method which is handle async click on a yellow light bulb and import this interface and again click on a light bulb and click on a implement interface it will add a method first we will create object of authorization middleware result handler class in a result async method we will handle the response in this method i will add if condition authorize result dot challenge it will be true when token is invalid and false when token is authentic and second condition authorize result dot forbid it will be true when token is valid but user don't have a permission on a resource at the end of the method if both conditions are false 
fall back to default implementation. Default handler dot handle async. Default handler is object of authorization middleware result handler class. In handle async method, we will pass object of these classes. Request delegate HTTP context authorization policy. Here we will add async keyword because handle async is a async method. When token is invalid, we will change the status code context.response.status code and here we will assign status code 200 I will cast the enum to int value so http status code dot ok and I will import this namespace dot ok here I will change the status code next I will add the response body await context dot response dot write json async and here i will initialize the error response model new error response model first parameter will be response code import response model namespace in response code enum i will add two response code first unauthorized second forbid unauthorized code will be three and forbid code will be four and you can use any response code any number so here response code dot unauthorized second parameter will be response message you can give any response message and here i will add return statement i will copy this code and paste in a forbid in forbid condition i will change the response code and response message In a startup file, we will register this service here. Services dot add singleton, and I will copy the name of this service. First, I will copy the interface name, and second, service class name. So now import the interface namespace and service namespace, and start the application. We will start this application in a debug mode. Application has started. I will refresh this Swagger page. So first, we will send a request get all user without token. Try it out. Click on execute. An application will stop on a breakpoint. Go to authorized service. And here, hover mouse on authorization result. And you will see challenge is true. It's mean token is invalid or token is not available. And click on a continue. And go to swagger. And you will see status code is 200. And we have a response body. In response body, we have a response code 3 and response message. Now we will test for bit custom response. First, we will get token through login API request. Here I will paste email and password. Click on execute button. So this user has a role type user. And with this token, we will try to access admin resource. And I will copy the token and paste in authorization here and click on authorize button only admin has a permission to access get all user resource and if you try to access get all user with role type user with simple user application will not allow it so we send request and application stopped on a breakpoint hover a mouse on authorize result and you will see forbid is true and application will not allow with this token and we will send custom response And here you can see we receive response with response body that have response code 4 and response message. And with this token, we can access get user list. An application has stopped on breakpoint. Hover a mouse on authorized result. And you will see succeeded is true. We have a permission to access this resource. And here you can see the result of this request. In this video, we customized the behavior of authorization middleware. We modified the response code and message. To get more videos, subscribe my channel. Thank you.